The projections look good for Cook County's budget for the next fiscal year, but the numbers reveal several thousand unfilled jobs. WDN's Dana Rebic joins us now from the newsroom with more on that story. Dana. Well, the projected budget surplus for this year will more than fill the expected deficit for 2024 in Cook County, which is actually one of the smaller gaps during Board President Tony Preckwinkle's time in office. Generally, it feels like Chicago's in a decent financial position. 2023 uh, general fund is expected to end the year with a surplus of $214.7 million. Good news from Cook County Board President Tony Preckwinkle when it comes to the budget. That more than $214.5 million surplus thanks to a personal property replacement tax and higher sales tax due to inflation. But heading into 2024, the county is forecasting an $85.6 million budget gap. That's partially due to a $22 million higher pension payment than this year due to reforms at the state capitol. Preckwinkle thinks that deficit can be filled without raising taxes or making layoffs. There are also 4,000 job vacancies, which the county says has helped in payroll savings. Many in the health care sector, including 700 registered nurse vacancies, which is a top priority to fill by offering tuition reimbursement and retention bonuses. There have been massive shortages uh, within health care, uh, huge shortages within uh, the, uh, the nursing population in particular. Uh, and if they're not able to fill those positions, it could put extra stress on the existing workers who are getting burned out. We do need to, to staff up. I think the folks who are with us just work really hard to fill in the gaps. We're doing a good job given the fact that um, we do have a considerable number of vacancies. Um, you know, I, I just think the folks who are with us just work really hard to fill in the gaps. Other costs for the county include caring for newly arrived asylum seekers, which costs an estimated $1.8 million a month and a projected $26 million for 2024. It's a big surge uh, in health care services that need to be provided. Uh, they're talking about a 1% increase in employee headcount associated with that uh, within the hospital systems. Board President Tony Preckwinkle will release her official budget recommendations in October and the board will vote on them in November. Live in the newsroom, Dana Rebic, WGN News. Thank you, Dana.